G'day and welcome to MW Laser. In this video, we're going to have a look at replacing the water flow sensor in the Chinese red and black laser using the CloudRay Laser's HT30 water flow switch. Now this water flow switch can be used in uh, any laser machine and uh, can be connected directly to the controller or to your laser power supply. So just remove the back panel where the water inlet and water outlet hoses are attached and um, if you have a look closely at the water inlet hose uh, on the inside of the machine, you'll see this white sensor. That is the existing water flow sensor which we're going to be replacing. So the water flow sensor is this sensor here. It's just a switch which um, once water flows through it will activate and uh, let the controller know that the water is flowing. Um, and we've got a couple of o-rings here as well as some brass fittings. So to assemble is very easy. We have the, the first part goes together with the nut and an O washer, and then the uh, nipple goes into that. Make sure that they're nice and tight. I'm gonna use some thread tape to put it all together. Make sure that we don't have any leaks. Now, it is very important to make sure that these O-rings, o uh, these washers are not um, perished, that they're not cracked and they're in good condition. We don't want any leaks. So um, if yours come and they have cracks or perishes in them, um, just order a couple of new replacement washers for those. Make sure it's all nice and tight and secure. So we have the thread tape on all the three components that are gonna be connected together. And uh, we're gonna use these washers. Again, making sure that they're nicely um, they've seated as well as not perished and uh, thread them all together and then make sure they're nice and secure. So just remove the old water flow sensor from the hoses uh, for the inlet and then if you follow the wires up you'll notice up near the laser tube there's a connection on most machines and you'll be able to disconnect those wires from here and that's where you're going to reconnect the new water flow sensor. So now once with the old water flow sensor removed and uh, all the connections nicely tightened up, we can then uh, rewire this one back to where the, uh, the old sensor came from. So we've got the wires down here and we're just going to cut this one and reconnect it. You can put any type of connector on there to join them together, solder them together, electrical tape. It just, um, it's an on off switch so it doesn't matter which wire goes to which connection from uh, previously. So we have that here and we're going to wire it up. So once you've reconnected the wires on the water flow sensor like I have here, uh, they've been rewired and uh, insulated, then using some hose clamps around the uh, hoses, uh, put the water flow sensor in the direction of the arrow, so the water flows in the direction of the arrow, so water in from the water pump and chiller through here and then off to the laser tube. If it goes the opposite direction, it uh, won't activate the switch. So tightening up all your hose clamps, making sure that they're all secure, and then we're going to start the water pump and we want to check for any leaks. So straight away I can see I have a leak and I need to find out where it is. It's leaking in between there. Turn my water pump off and uh, recorrect and check again for any leaks. So after retightening it, I've uh, checked it again for leaks and we want to keep an eye on that to make sure that it doesn't leak. So yeah, just for the first uh, few hours or couple of days, keep an eye on uh, that, um, make sure that it's not leaking. It's probably a good idea to leave it on the outside of the machine rather than poking it away and sealing it up straight away. And that way you can keep an eye on it uh, and make sure that it's operating properly. So the water from the chiller or the pump comes through the sensor in the direction of the arrow was mentioned earlier and then off to the laser tube water inlet. Now if you're just reconnecting those two wires then the wiring you wouldn't need to continue to worry about because those two wires have been connected either to your controller or to your laser power supply. 
If you're installing one of these for the first time, then the two wires get connected to the water protect on the controller and the ground. So this is the connector for the laser and we have the water protect and the ground. Now if you have those connected on the controller, then you will probably notice that on your laser power supply, you will have a jumper wire between P and G. So that tells the laser power supply that there is an override and that the controller is looking after the water protect. If this is the case, the controller needs to be uh, set in the menu to have water protect enabled. If you're not using this setup, then you can connect the water flow sensor directly to the laser power supply using the P and the G connections on the output uh, plug there. So that would um, enable the water flow sensor to tell the laser power supply that the water is flowing so that the laser gets power and fires. If this is the case, then on your controller, you may notice that it says water protect disabled or no. And that is because the water flow protection within the laser power supply is looking after the water protect. So thanks for visiting MW Laser. This is the white water flow sensor switch that came out of this Chinese red and black laser. And I've seen and heard reports of many that are leaked or are not even wired incorrectly to their machine. So when you're replacing it with the HT30 water flow switch, make sure that all the uh, plumbing is secure and that there are no leaks. And don't uh, seal it all up until you have checked to make sure that there's no leaks and that you're happy with the connections. There's nothing worse than uh, finding your machine running and then water dripping out of a leaking flow sensor switch. Now, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos. And until next time, take care. Cheers.